Hi, this is Lauren Baker, Search Engine Journal here at PubCon with Paul Razanov from Promoto. Nice to meet you. Nice Paul. meeting. And I hear that you're doing a lot with uh, heat mapping and eye tracking. Could you go into that for us? Yeah, that's right. So, in, in general, I'm passionate about conversion rate optimization, mm -hmm. A B testing, you know, creating the landing pages. Uh, the eye tracking and the heat mapping is the major part of my research. Okay. So uh, we're basically doing eye tracking and the heat mapping to analyze when a landing page will be uh, much better for the conversion even before we launch them. We use um, multiple tools uh -huh. to analyze that. One is the Yandex Metrica tool. What is cool about that tool, it shows you uh, the click through, how, they, how the user behavior on the page. It also records the video of every single visit. Oh, okay, excellent. And with uh, iQuant, that's another tool that we use for the eye tracking, we can uh, make an assumption, what is the distraction on the page, and why the specific call to action, a specific link, does not really get notified by the user. Nice, nice. So you're able to basically track the user behavior as they scroll down the page, where they look, what they're mousing over, and whether or not they're clicking on where really they should be clicking, right? That's that's exactly right. Right, right. And and what trends are you seeing, like in terms of distractions or or obstacles that prevent the user from converting? Well, the the, the first thing that we constantly see over the recent six months is users they more prefer the minimized design. Okay. With a you know very very targeted messages with a very limited forms, so right. when we test between long tail forms and the short tail forms, uh, usually the, to the I mean in general the short forms are most you know convertible. Probably the reason is the uh, race of the mobile traffic. Uh -huh. So we have to make sure that the landing page or the form of the, the page of the site is really up to date, with responsive, you know, friendly for the mobile user. Right, right. Especially if you're seeing mobile traffic at 30%, 50%, 60%, sometimes it can be ignored. Um, do you also track conversions on things like email, newsletter signups, or other similar uh, events on the page? Well, being honest, for the recent like six months, we are trying to get rid of the any email marketing because I see that the open rates is you know, just become lower and lower. We are trying to advertise uh, and uh, teach our clients more from um, some social content that we share, you know. So we probably trying to change the entire trade from the bumping of the emails to the mailbox into more natural engagement, you know. Great, great. So unfortunately, we don't really track <laughs> just because we, I, I see that potential somewhere else. Right, right. Awesome. And uh, are most of your clients on uh, the e-commerce side or lead generation or different types? Um, I would say um, we, we, we're happy to work with the retail clients. Mm -hmm. That's the most successful clients because we can handle multiply services for them. And we can uh, really track the increase of the income if we perform well with our optimization process. With B2B, we're mostly doing the landing page design for the AdWords campaign, and we basically see the lift off for the lead. Excellent, um, excellent. And it's interesting that you bring up Yandex, right? Because um, you know most of the conversation is about uh, Crazy Egg, or Clicktail, or even Google Analytics, but um, it sounds like Yandex Metrica is a fairly robust tool. I would say, um, like Crazy Egg, it's a great tool, but I find it a little bit, uh, you know, limited when you don't have like much traffic, or when you have to track a very specific page. And um, so, with Yandex Metrica, first of all, business organizations they can use that for free, right? And they also can split out uh, the audiences by the gender, uh, so you can oh, see wow. how you actually user navigate, you know, based on your, you know, sort of the audience of the site. Right. So, and the video recording of the visit, it's it's a great feature that I would recommend to integrate and, you know, that's 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 basically how most of our clients they get interested to, you know, to bring more uh, tracking, to bring more 
thinking about the conversion because they nice. see how the user actually fail on this very specific page. Well, demographic tracking and uh, persona tracking or tracking is is it's pretty amazing actually. I haven't really thought of it in that way. Um, in terms of heat mapping, looking at different behaviors based upon gender or whatever, that's well, really cool. That's that, 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 that's really that, that's really the way it works. You know, the heat mapping based on the task, based on the gender. Right. That's the way how we can you know look into that and more and more spend time on that. Nice, nice, very cool, very cool. So uh, again, Paul, thank you very much. Thank you um, for inviting. Where can we find you online? Well, most of the information we share on our Facebook and the Twitter, uh, or you can just go at promoter.com website, subscribe to our social channels, and you get a lot of useful information. Excellent. Thanks so much. Thank you. You kind of touched on you know, utilizing search data. Is there any way that marketers can use search and analytics data in other areas of marketing? Sure, I'll start, on, I'll start with the analytics there. Okay. Um, site that need to be reviewed. How can you do this easily? Simple, Link Patrol scans your entire site. Link Patrol gives you a breakdown of all the authors, domains, and anchor text associated with your 